everybody, Catherine Hart here with Atticus and Boo, <laughs> whose head is on the pillow. Um, they're going to help me with our, our uh, <laughs> tips today. Thank you. Atticus, Atticus is giving me uh, inspiration. Uh, today, we're going to be working on five liners and what to do when you get these wonderful five liner auditions. Now, five liners, for those of you who don't know that term, uh, five liners are what we call these auditions where there's just uh, you know a couple of lines that you say one to five lines and let me explain the point of these in the first place and most people find them much more difficult than two or three scenes because you have to sort of blend into the background and um, you know but at the same time you have to stand out and beat everybody else out for the you know the audition so we, um, you know, tend to want to overact these. Think that's Boo digging in the background over there. Uh, we tend to overact these because we want them to be so important and beat everyone else out. And you're kind of, you know, slitting yourself in the throat because the whole point of a five-liner is your ambiance. You either are there to make it look like it's a real general store and there's real stuff going on. Life is teeming in the little town around us. Or we are there as a plot point. We need to deliver information to help make the, the whole thing make sense. So when we are doing these, the best thing to do is you need to look natural and real like you do for everything else that you do on camera. You want to look natural and real. And uh, therefore, you want to be really doing something. So you're really petting the dog. <laughs> and anything you do on camera, by the way, you should really do. Nothing looks better than reality on camera. So, if we are doing a little something, let's say um, you're supposed to be the checkout person, um, then really, when you get there to film it, and for the audition, pantomime this kind of stuff, uh, that you would be working with the cash register or maybe you've got an item that you're scanning or something and really be doing that. So instead of saying, oh, I think this is 25 cents more than what you gave me. <laughs> so it's all acty and it's just like baloney. You're just do something, really be doing something, get distracted by doing something real. So you're scanning, um, oh, I think this is actually 25 cents more than what you gave me. And then you're dirt bagging and doing stuff. So it looks like it's real. That's the whole point. It looks like you're a real checkout person. That's the point, is to make it look like a real store functioning there. And uh, you kind of throw away the line and don't make it so important. And it, it, it serves everybody. You kind of stand out from everyone else because it looks more in-depth and interesting because you're really doing something. And anytime you really do something, it looks fabulous. And um, the, then the second thing is that you, you really look like the real ambiance there. Uh, so, you know, if you have one of those great lines like, you know, here's a piece of paper. You know, what is it? Is it a doctor's report? Oh, um, so you've got the clipboard. Here's your, um, here's your piece of paper. So, and you're looking at the patient or something like that. So have something. It's not that you can't make eye contact. It's just you don't want to make it like I'm saying lines to person. Oh, here's your piece of paper. <laughs> you know, it looks like you look like a doofus. All right. You feel like a doofus. If you feel like a doofus, trust me, you look like a doofus too. That's what I always tell everyone. If you feel like you have egg on your face, trust me, you do. <laughs> so if you ever feel like you have an egg on your face, the best thing to do is just to, to distract yourself by doing something real and natural. Because, uh, like I said before, anything that you do that's real and natural looks fabulous. Now, the other thing is to give yourself uh, a very specific attitude. Now, I'm a very technical, in-depth kind of acting coach. I'm always saying, what's your backstory? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Give it meaning. It has to be organic. It has to be real. Creature reality. But that doesn't mean that you can't use cheap tricks, too. Hey, here's a cheap trick. Uh, just decide on a very specific attitude. I'm grumpy. <sighs> okay, this, um, uh, this is 25 cents more than what you gave me. So... Just give yourself a little attitude, and that will give it something. And, and on these five-liners, a lot of times they'll say, uh, you know, if you want to give us two or three different versions of the tape, 
of the scene, then that's fine. And just tape one grumpy, tape one. I had a lady just the other day, and she was doing a secretary thing. So we had her do one kind of ditzy. Oh, hi, it's good to see you. Yeah, the doctor will be with you. He's be right here in a second. You know, she did it kind of ditzy, and then one of them she was just grumpy. Yeah, yeah, the doctor will see you. He'll be here in a minute. You know, and she was typing and doing stuff. And then we had her do one that was a, kind of a, just a neutral, just very simple one. And we, we put, you know, I said, do, just ask casting director if you can show her all three. It, it takes like three seconds to do the scene, and they're, they're probably going to be happy to see different versions of it. Okay, so give yourself something to do, and give yourself a very specific attitude while you're doing it. Ta-da! And go off and uh, beat everybody else up for those five-liners. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, Atticus would say goodbye, but he's a little sleepy right now, so he's going to snooze. <laughs> Bye.